Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade the NVIDIA Broadcast app from the latest release of 2.0, which seems as buggy as anything, to the older, more stable 1.4 release. We do lose some of the features of the 2.0 app, which is a shame because I think some of those features were actually pretty exciting. But for whatever reason, NVIDIA didn't seem to test this as they ought to have done. And loads of us have been having issues with it. And I myself have been using a 5080 which is obviously one of the new flagship cards from NVIDIA. It's a high-end card, and yet I'm constantly getting errors for high GPU load, even before I open any other applications or games. So just the NVIDIA broadcast app by itself is enough to tell me that my computer is overloaded. A lot of the features in this software, especially the updated features for 2.0, I was kind of excited about, so it's such a shame that they've botched this release. But yeah, if we go ahead and enable the virtual key light, then it won't take long, and yep, high GPU load. So in a nutshell, all we're gonna be actually doing is uninstalling 2.0 and then reinstalling the older version of the software 1.4. Couple of things to be aware of, however. First off, Nvidia do not make 1.4 easily accessible. They don't really advertise their older versions, but I have found the direct link on the NVIDIA servers to 1.4. So I'm gonna leave that down in the video description. I will also keep an eye on that link. If NVIDIA do remove it, then I will re-upload the application installer onto Google Drive or something. So I'll try and keep that link in the description up to date. The other thing as well, NVIDIA Broadcast, it's like a ruddy piece of antivirus software. It's very difficult to get rid of. If you simply use the Windows uninstaller, it seems to leave remnants of the application of 2.0 that interfere with 1.4 so that you will likely still face the same bugs and glitches and issues when you install 1.4. So do not use the Windows uninstaller. What I'm gonna recommend is if you head over to Revo uninstaller, this seems to do the trick. Now I am not being sponsored by Revo, just in case you thought that, okay? This is just a method I found that works. Uh, what you wanna do is head over to the download section now, for me, it seemed to work fine with just the free version of the software. However, I've seen a couple of people on Reddit complaining that it didn't do the trick. If this doesn't work, then you might need to use the pro version because this does an even more in-depth of a scan on your system to remove the software that you're trying to get rid of. Now, there is a free trial, so you'll be able to sign up to that if you want to use the pro version, get this software removed, you know, the broadcast 2.0, and then you can make sure you cancel before you get charged. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to be using the free version, and I'm actually going to be using the portable version because it doesn't even need to be installed. It's just an all self-contained piece of software. Okay, so this is what I've just downloaded. All I'm going to do is open it up right here and then scroll down looking for the NVIDIA stuff. There we go. Okay, NVIDIA Broadcast 2.0. Let's go ahead and uninstall. Just right click on that, select uninstall. Uh, you can make a system restore point if you wish, but I don't think it matters too much. And this is just going to take a little bit of time, probably a little bit longer than with the Windows uninstall because the Revo stuff is a lot more thorough, as I mentioned. So what it will do, first of all, is use the standard Windows uninstall, okay? And then it will scan and remove anything else that it can find from the software. Um, so let's do the scan now. And the moderate scan is fine. And we're just going to select all here and then hit the delete key. Okay, and then we're going to select all here, hit the delete, and it won't be able to delete these until we restart. Now, Revo is fairly intelligent as a piece of software, so it shouldn't be touching the other NVIDIA stuff you have installed, such as your drivers or the NVIDIA app. This is just going to be removing the broadcast software. So let's click finish for now, and then we will restart our PC. Okay, so computer restarted. I'm going to install 1.4 again now. And just to clarify, okay, if you've been getting this error on 2.0 with high GPU load, don't think you need to upgrade your GPU because, again, I've been using a 5080 and getting that warning. There's people with 4090s getting that warning. This is definitely a glitchy piece of software. So just stick with 1.4.0 for now, in my opinion. It's just, unfortunately, the best solution, even though it's not going to have all of the features that we were promised with 2.0. NVIDIA still clearly have a lot of work to do there. Now, of course, when it's installed and it wants us to update to 2.0, we're not going to select to do that. So remind me later is the only other option. 
Oh, and another thing that I wasn't a big fan of with 2.0, it removes the sliders for the effects. I'm not sure why that is, but you can only turn them off or on with 2.0. So that seems like a downgrade from the older versions of NVIDIA Broadcast. Yes, some of the new additions I would have liked to have really put to use, but obviously that's just not possible right now. So it's back to 1.4, but yet yeah, this is working now. No errors, no issues, no high GPU load. Hopefully this little method will help you guys. It's more of a bandage than a permanent fix. Hopefully this little method of downgrading is going to be somewhat helpful to you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the video. I'll see you next time.